Hey there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a vector sunburst all in Adobe Illustrator. So, let's get started. Rightio, so we're now in Illustrator and you can see I've created a new document. We have an artboard that is 1920 wide and 1080 pixels high. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab the ellipse tool from the toolbar on the left and just left click and hold shift to create a perfect circle. And we'll position this in the middle. And if we go to the bottom of the toolbar, just select that white fill, click on that swatch and set that to none. So now we just have a black stroke. Next, what we're going to do is navigate over to the stroke panel on the right and just start increasing that stroke weight. And you can use the arrows for this, or it might be a bit quicker just to select this value here and we'll just enter a much larger number and press return. So we'll go with 300 points on the stroke and essentially this is going to be the length of each segment within your sunburst. So you might want to take this up a little bit further and we can adjust the size at the end, that's absolutely fine. Next what we're going to do is select the box marked dashed line and you can see we get this cool effect now so we can see our sunburst coming together already and we can adjust the dash value. So let's go for 10 and you can see it increases the number of segments. And if you do crank this up, you can see it reduces the number of segments. So I think we'll go for around about 30 and press return. And we'll leave the gap empty for now. Now something else you'll notice is that you do get the little oddities around where the width isn't consistent all the way around. And the way that you get around that is you change the align stroke to center and it does that and looks a bit weird and then you need to go in and again adjust this sizing but what that does is it enables this option here that was previously inaccessible so now we've aligned the stroke to the center we can click this and you can see everything just shifts and it makes the space in between each segment in our sunburst equal all the way around now of course I've got this huge artboard and I want the sunburst to fill that artboard. So I'm going to scale this up. Now you can scale up holding shift. However, if you've already centered this on your artboard, hold down the alt key at the same time and you can scale up from the center. There we go. Now of course it does this and completely distorts what we've done. So we are going to need to crank this weight up even further. And you may want to mess around with this value and we can't go more than a thousand points there. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring this down in size. So let's scale that down again, holding Shift and Alt. Something like this. And you can see as I'm adjusting the size and as I go and adjust the stroke, it adjusts that size of the sun in the middle as well. So if I bring the stroke down, it makes this, this sun area, this circle in the middle bigger or I can increase that until all of those points touch in the center. And of course I can't go higher than a thousand so I can't quite make that touch, but if that's the case, just scale it down and there you go, they all meet in the middle. So it takes a little bit of tinkering with the size and you can see the sunburst doesn't quite touch the edge here, but that is absolutely fine. The main thing is just getting the sunburst style with the amount of segments that you like because what we're going to do now is if we close that stroke panel down, what we're going to do is go to Object, Expand Appearance, and then go to Object, Expand, and just leave Fill and Stroke checked and click OK. And now, as we adjust the size, it's not going to adjust any of those proportions now. So this is no longer a stroke, this is a shape you can see here with a fill color. And we can scale this up and down. And those proportions are going to say exactly the same. It's not going to adjust anything else the circle in the middle, the size of that is going to stay relative to each of the sunburst segments. So we can drag these out so that they do go over the edge of our artboard. And that's fine if they go outside, totally fine. And in fact, I'm going to give this a color now. So we can select this, just double click that color picker. And we'll go for a lovely orange. And from the swatches panel, I can then click the new swatch icon and just add that as a global swatch. And you can see that appears there. And what we can also do, if we want to, is grab the rectangle tool and then just left click and drag and just drag this rectangle so it snaps to the top left corner. 
and then the bottom right corner. So essentially it's the same width and height as the artboard. And if I just make this uh, pink for now, just a temporary color, and make sure that this shape is on top. If it's not on top for any reason, just go to Object, Arrange, and bring to front. Make sure this bright colored shape is on top. And what we're going to do now is use this as a clipping mask. So with this shape on top, we can drag over everything, go to Object, down to Clipping Mask, and select Make. And you'll see it crops our sunburst inside our clipping mask. And now we can double click this, and you'll see here we've gone into isolation mode inside the clip group and we can now move this around. Now, of course, if you move it in too far, you'll see it won't reach the edge and you'll need to adjust the size and everything, but we can still do that within this mask. So if you want to have it central like this, that's fine. And if you want to bring it ever so slightly off center and then scale it up, something like this, that's also fine. It's entirely up to you and you have that flexibility. And when you're happy, just click on this arrow a couple of times to come out of isolation mode. And you can leave this editable, and every time you mouse over it, you will see uh, this sometimes. So if you are happy that this is your final sunburst and you're no longer going to need to edit this anymore, just simply select it, go to Window, down to Pathfinder, and you'll see this lovely little panel appear here. And you've got this option marked Crop. Simply click that, and there we go. You can see that there is nothing else. This shape is now final. In fact, if I just go back a step and show you what happened. So I'm in outline mode now, which is Command or Control Y. And you can see this is how everything looked. And then what we did is we used that crop function in the Pathfinder panel, and it essentially cropped everything outside of that mask. And we are now left with our final sunburst. And you could leave this as is, or what we can do is just go and add another rectangle and you can drag this manually into position if you like, or you can go to the transform panel. Just uncheck that link and just type a width, the same height and width as your artboard. And I've done that completely wrong. <laughs> Let's try again, 1080, there we go. Position that so that it snaps in the right place. And then we'll just go and pick another swatch, slightly different color. Great, looks good to me. And then just go to Object, Arrange, and Center Back. And there you go, you can see that we can use a combination of different colors, so it depends entirely what style you're going for with your sunburst. And there we go, that's how to create a vector sunburst all in Illustrator. And if you'd like to download the final design, there's a link in the description. And if you have any questions or comments, please do drop those down there as well. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.